Okay, let's take a walk through how I like to use Evernote, which is basically what this course is about. I'm going to teach you how I set up my projects in Evernote. So we'll open up my Evernote app here, and I'm going to go to full screen. Now you notice on this side, I've got a bunch of shortcuts. Down here, I have all the notes that I have in Evernote, and there are going to be a ton of them. Just scrolling through, you can see I've got a veritable plethora of notes. I think I have close to 700. Now these notes can all be organized into notebooks and you see I've got these notebooks or what looks like a notebook there. These guys are actually separated into stacks and we're going to discuss this in future lessons but I just wanted to show you how I use this. So as an example let's look at this uh, job 207 stack. I have a notebook for that's called general info, a notebook called miscellaneous and a notebook called receipts. This was a fairly recent job that I did. I'll show you a we're going to start out with a dummy course or a dummy job I've made up here. So we're going to call it, I've num numbered it job 209. I don't care how you guys number or identify your, your jobs, but this is the way I've numbered mine. I believe I started at 100 and worked my way up and I've archived the rest of them. I'm just going to sign this and we're going to call this job Evernote course. So what I did is I built this stack and what a stack is, is just a bunch of notebooks. So let's take a look here. Don't even worry about any of this stuff here. We're going to talk about all this later. I just wanted to show you how I like to use this to, to work my jobs. So I built this stack here. Within the stack, I built three different notebooks. I've got a general info notebook, and that FE209 stands for Flynn Electric 209. So if this was an Evernote course and I was billing to somebody, this would be the invoice number I used. I have a miscellaneous notebook, and I have a receipts notebook. Now these two guys are quite powerful. I'll show you what I do with them. Right now, you'll notice if I open it up, they're empty. We'll go back. Um, same thing with receipts, I've got nothing in it. We'll go back. I always start out with my general info and we'll open it up here. Now in general info, I've got three different notes built and I will show you guys how to do this. Now note number one is called to do. Note number two is called hours. Note number three is material needed. Now to do is the scope of my job. So I've got this open here. I'm going to start out here. I'm going to open this up here and I'm going to build a checklist. So I've got that little checkbox here. And again, I'm going to show you how to do this in detail in future videos. So don't worry about this. Just follow along. And let's say I'm installing Potlight. So I'm going to buy materials. I'm going to run feed from panel. I'm going to daisy chain lights. I'm going to install trim. I'm going to test lights. I'm going to install switches, switch, switch. There we go. So you notice I've made myself a checklist for each job. I do this for every single job. Basically, we all have an idea in our head what we have to have done for a job. So I just build myself a little checklist. Then as I do it, I go and I buy material. Check. That way I know it's done. I run a feed from the panel check. I know that's done. I daisy chain the lights. That's done. I installed the trim. That's done. I tested the lights to make sure they worked. That's done. I installed the switch. That's done. So you see, you build yourself a little to-do list. That way you've always got access to what is going on. And if you're working with somebody, say you've got somebody that you're like a coworker that you're working with, you can share this note. So I can share this note with somebody that say, uh, a buddy of mine, Nate Torium. I'm sharing it with him. I could just send that off to him, share the note, and away we go. I don't think he'd appreciate me sharing that with him now. So that's how I build my to-do list for the job. Next is my hours. And this one I find very important. What I do is I'll type in the date. So let's say it started January 1st. I will type in, oops, sorry, January 1st. I'll type in what I did that day. I type in all the information because sometimes you're going to have to show the client what you did. I know they should always be trusting us and that we're always going to be above reproach, but they're going to want to know sometimes. So let's say bought materials and uh, what else did I do? I installed feed from panel. I uh, met with client and then that was me. So I'll say Chad eight hours, but I had an apprentice working with me that say James, he worked for six hours, a little slacker. And there we go. Now I have that all written down. So when it comes time to invoice, I've got all my information written down in my hours. So it's, I find that very handy. Material needed, if I go to the job and then I start realizing, oh, I need to buy things. Sometimes we write ourselves notes, those notes get lost. 
the nice thing is with Evernote, it's in my phone or on my computer, so or my iPad or tablet or Android device. So I can just write down, oh yeah, I, I forgot some wires, so I'm gonna need uh, some 14.2, 14.2 Lumex wire. I forgot to buy three trim, so I gotta go three times trim, white. I need a three-way switch. You get the idea. So you could also set these guys up for, this is a good idea too that I do sometimes. I just like checking off boxes. See how I did that? I got to check there. And I said, okay, I was, I'm at Home Depot. I picked that up. I go to the wholesaler, pick that up. I'm at three-way switch. I picked that up and we're done. So that is, I keep that under my general info notebook. So let's move back. Now, oh, we'll go back even further, further. So I've shown you guys how I use my general info miscellaneous right now I've got nothing in here this miscellaneous file is where I send all correspondence regarding this job any website or any kind of web clipping that I need to send here I'll show you what that is in a second or say that the client gives me some drawings I like to say drawings drawings then I can throw this in here too so it's miscellaneous info regarding this one job so let's take a peek here let's go I've got this set up here let's say uh this Edward Noland is working for me. He mentioned me in a comment on Facebook. What we're going to do, I'm going to teach you guys how to do is set up an Evernote email account. So I've already done this Evernote. I can send that. I can forward this email. So I'm going to hit this to send. Okay, so it's sent. What this is doing is it's sending this to my Evernote account. Now over here, you'll notice I've got this inbox. That is the repository if you want. This is where I send all items that I scan or email. Now you notice I've got nothing in my inbox now, so you're wondering where is it? Well, you got this thing here. This is called the sync button. I can press that and boom. The email that I wanted to take a look at is now being sent to here. So I've got this in the inbox here and what I'm gonna do is on this side and my shortcuts and I'll show you guys how to use the shortcuts later. I've got this. I can just throw that into miscellaneous. and Let's go take a look at the notebooks. What, what? There's the email. So if you're corresponding a lot with a client or you're corresponding with say wholesalers or architects or whatever, it's a good idea to keep all that those emails within this one file for this one job. That way you don't have to go back through your email and hunt it down, which can be a real pain in the butt. I've been using this now for probably about a year and a half now and I've used it a lot. It's been fantastic. That way I always send these emails if it's regarding a job. I'll send it to the inbox. At the end of the day, I'll move that over to my miscellaneous file. Done. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in greater detail. Now, let's say I'm looking online and my clients love the idea of pot lights, as they should, because pot lights look great. And now they have these new LED pot lights. Well, what I can do is, say I'm looking around online, so I found this website, and I think, hey, this is a pretty cool site, and I have installed a ton of these. They're awesome. So I take a look at these, and I was like, okay, well, I need to keep this information they've got video and all that what I do is there's a Chrome extension Firefox has it and Safari has it Internet Explorer you can get this Evernote clipper so I'm gonna clip on that and it says okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this website and I'm going to send it to Evernote now watch this this organize I'm gonna send this down to I can send it right to Evernote course miscellaneous so I've sent it to there I'm gonna save the whole article Boom, save. It's clipping. See, it's clipping. Tick -tick 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 -tick. It's syncing. Tick -tick 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 -tick. And it'll tell me it's done. Oh, boom, done. So it's taken all this and it's moved it into my Evernote. Well, let me show you. I open up Evernote again and I go to miscellaneous. Let's go to my notebooks. Miscellaneous. Oops, I want to change the name to that. And I'm going to hit sync. Because you notice it's not here yet, but it's because I haven't synced up. And what? Look at that, everybody. There's the whole website has been clipped and now in a file. So instead of using that bookmark bar that nobody knows how to use, and I've bookmarked so many things and then not known how to even go back to find it, I can just send it to this miscellaneous notebook and it's all saved, which is super duper fantastic. Now, one last thing with this one, I'm going to kind of shrink this down a bit. Sometimes there'll be drawings. Let me just close this guy up. That, you know, say the client sends you a drawing. Here's a good example. This drawing for Jack. Let's, I'm just gonna open it up and show you. It's a PDF, it's a drawing that I took a picture of. And I, 
I needed it for some reason. Now let's say it's for this job. I'm going to be using it for this 209 course and I want to make sure that I save it. Well, I've got this here. I'm going to take this guy up. Oops, sorry. I'm going to drag it over to miscellaneous and boom, drawing for Jack is now in the file. So again, I put all those sort of information, all that sort of information in here, emails, drawings, uh, websites, anything you can think of that would be under miscellaneous for this specific job. Great repository for it. Now let us discuss receipts. How many times have you been on a job where you have bought something and then lost the receipt for it and you are trying to figure out how much it was. You've got to get a copy of it from the wholesaler or you've got to wait for your visa statement or you just forget about it altogether. Evernote is amazing for this because they have an app called Scannable by Evernote. It's free. And what it does is it turns your phone into a scanner. It takes the camera in your phone and turns it into a scanner. So I'm going to use this as an example. Let's pull up my phone right now and I'll open it up here. Now I've got this scanning. It's looking for a document. What I do is I set it up. You see how it's just sort of turning blue there. It takes a picture of it and we wait a second and it's now clipped it over here and I've got this guy here. Now it says scannable document. Well, what I'll do is I could change the name and I'll say it's Jack's, Jack's receipt, receipt, and we'll call it, I don't know, number one whatever and done. I'm going to save it as a PDF. You can save it as a JPEG or a PDF. I'm going to save it as a PDF and save to Evernote and we'll hit the old save and you see where it says dump. That's the same thing as my inbox. I just called it dump on scannable because I dump everything there. Save and away it goes and it should be in the account. It'll tell me within seconds or there we go. Done. Save there. And now it's looking for another document. Well, let's take a look at the old inbox. So we've got the inbox here. Again, let us do the old sync. And look at that. There's Jack's, well, I said recruit, receipt. Well, apparently I bought him some wine. But you get the idea. So I can take this now, this receipt that is in my inbox, right? And I can put it into receipts. So I should be able to drag this over to here, receipts. And it's out of there what and now i can take all my receipts for that one job and send it into here again this is just a quick walkthrough so it's just showing you how did i do it i will go into greater detail about each one of these so i'll show you how to set up scannable i'll show you how to set up your inbox don't worry about that i just wanted to show you a quick once through of how i use evernote now i use it for everything i'm just showing you how i use it for my jobs that's how i set up a job so i have a general info notebook which has my to do my hours and my materials I have a miscellaneous or miscellaneous where I send emails, drawings, web clippings, and I have a receipts notebook and I stack them all into a one job number. That's how it's done. Now I use this for everything. I've got miscellaneous personal receipts. I've got personal stuff, class management. I'm a teacher at a vocational college. So all my teaching stuff goes into here. All my personal information goes into here. Evernote is the one stop digital file storage. So in the next few videos, what I will do in the next course on Evernote for contractors. I will show you how to set this all up so that you too can have a fine running machine using Evernote to save all your digital data. We'll see you in the next ones.